Spectrophotometric Titration of Calcium and Magnesium in Water. In this video, you will learn how to properly set up the fiber optic probe titration apparatus and learn how to perform a vague endpoint titration using absorbance readings. First, make sure the spectrophotometer cover is correctly in place. Place the fiber optic probe in the spectrophotometer, making sure that the window in the fiber optic probe is in line with the light path in the spectrophotometer, as shown here. Place your beaker with aliquoted sample on top of a white towel and magnetic stirrer. Transfer a magnetic stir bar into the beaker using a Kim wipe. Lower the probe into the solution, making sure the probe is not touching the side of the beaker and is high enough so that the magnetic stir bar will not hit the probe when stirring. This picture shows a common error of not having the probe completely below the surface of the solution. Another common problem is air bubbles being caught inside the probe. If this happens, gently stir the probe or raise it up and down until the air bubble is removed. Here is an example of a properly placed probe. In this experiment, you will have already done one visual titration and will know the approximate endpoint. Rapidly add titrant until the solution starts to turn purple which should be approximately one milliliter before the end point. At this point, slowly add titrant and take several readings so that you will have several data points before the end point. Remember to record in your data book both the absorbance and burette volume for each reading. Near the end point, add titrant dropwise, taking absorbance readings between each drop to achieve as many readings as possible in the vicinity of the end point. Titrate until the solution has turned completely blue with no trace of purple. After the solution is completely blue, continue adding titrant and record five more absorbance readings. Here's an example of the titration curve you will generate from your data. As you can see, it is very important to record several readings after the endpoint as these values will be used to determine the exact endpoint volume. Also note that the fiber optic probe is very expensive and will break if it is bent at sharp angles. Make sure to position the probe in your titration setup so that it is not bent at any sharp angles. Here is an example of how to properly store the probe in the cases provided. You now know how to set up and titrate a vague endpoint with a fiber optic probe. 